Hey everyone, so today we are going to be discussing the pre-auricular incision. But before discussing the pre-auricular incision, we will be discussing the temporoparietal region of the scalp. Okay, so going by layers, the first layer is skin. Next to it is the subcutaneous tissue. Below it is the temporoparietal fascia, which is also known as the superficial temporal fascia or the SMAS or the lateral extension of the gallia. Now below it lies the superficial temporal artery and vein. Next comes the loose areolar tissue and below it lies the temporalis muscle fascia. Now this is the temporalis muscle fascia. It is also known as deep temporal fascia which is divided into two layers superficial and deep. Now in this temporalis muscle fascia lies the middle temporal artery. Below it lies the temporalis muscle which has the deep temporal arteries and lastly lies the pericranium. Okay, now that we have understood the anatomy of the region, next we come on to how do we mark the incision. Now the incision is marked as close to the tragus as possible because the superficial temporal artery and vein, they lie 0.5 to 1 centimeter in front of the anterior edge of the tragus at a depth of 1 centimeter. So the incision should be kept as close to the tragus as possible. Now the incision is made through the skin, subcutaneous tissue, the temporoparietal fascia to the depth of the superficial layer of temporalis fascia. So the flap is retracted anteriorly around 1.5 to 2 centimeter. And if the incision is taken to the correct depth, the superficial temporal vessels and the auriculotemporal nerve are in the flap. So with the flap, retracted anteriorly a uh, incision is given through the superficial layer of the temporalis fascia till the periosteum of the zygomatic arch so the blunt dissection with the periosteal elevator is continued anteriorly till the articular eminence and inferiorly and we do it till we expose the whole of the capsule of the temporomandibular joint and once the joint capsule is exposed its superior and inferior joint spaces can be entered so with that we finish the pre-auricular incision can let me know in the comments which topic you want me to cover next